You're watching WPTA-TV, 21 Alive News, with Keith Edwards, Melissa Long, Brent Trentum, Dean Fantasi, and Marty Wright with Good News. An industrial accident claims the life of a Fort Wayne man. And the search for clues continues in an afternoon bank robbery in Auburn. Good evening. The Indiana State Police and the Noble County Sheriff's Department are investigating the homicide of an 86-year-old woman. 21 Alive's Curtis Smith has the latest on the investigation. Early Monday morning, the body of Julia Gardy was found here in her Noble County farmhouse. The 86-year-old, under 100-pound woman was either suffocated or strangled to death. 21 Alive spoke with Gardy's son-in-law, Terry Skiles. Skiles and other family members declined to appear on camera. According to Skiles, Gardy was suffering from pneumonia. She was scheduled for an x-ray Monday morning to verify that. When a family member arrived to pick her up at her Green Center home, Gardy was dead. Her house was torn apart and several small items were missing. Noble County sheriffs say the motive seems to be burglary. Skiles says Gardy was not wealthy and had very few possessions and no enemies. Curtis Smith, 21 Alive News. A Van Dyne Karate employee is dead after an industrial accident involving electricity. The accident happened just before noon today. 31-year-old Todd Hauser of 1400 Mayfield in Fort Wayne was injured while repairing some equipment at the company. Hauser was taken to St. Joseph Medical Center in critical condition where he later died. Hauser was a maintenance supervisor at Van Dyne Karate. An autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow morning. The search for clues and a suspect continues tonight in a bank robbery in Auburn. Police in Auburn still will not give us many details at this time. We do know that a man walked into the Northwest Bank in Auburn around 3 this afternoon, displayed a handgun and demanded money. He fled the scene with an undisclosed amount of cash. Police will say that they are investigating a possible connection between today's bank robbery and two others in New Haven last week. A Fort Wayne woman is behind bars suspected of defrauding up to 60 local churches and charities out of money to help the needy. 27-year-old Jody Schmidt faces three counts of felony theft. Schmidt allegedly stole an estimated $4,000 from churches and charities that police warn should be more careful. Especially when you're asking for rent assistance and they mention a landlord instead of just uh, physically writing out the check and taking the individual's word for it and giving him or her that check, they had to check into this property and see if this landlord does exist. Police say Schmidt approached Catholic charities and other churches or social service agencies claiming her husband had been laid off or disabled, requesting money to pay for rent at a North Clinton property. Schmidt allegedly forged the name of her landlord with an endorsement for her to cash the checks. She's scheduled in court this week. In Little Rock, Arkansas today, one of the president's former Whitewater business partners reported to jail. Susan McDougall says she would rather go to jail than answer certain questions in front of a grand jury looking into the Whitewater real estate deal. Mrs. McDougall, already convicted on Whitewater-related charges, says prosecutors are pressuring her to testify against the Clintons. A Steuben County woman has come forward to claim her $50,000 prize for the September 5th Lucky 5 drawing. Lorraine Wheat of Angola had the only ticket to match all five numbers. Wheat is the third winner from Steuben County. We'll have all of tonight's lottery numbers a little later on, 21 Alive News. Teaching children the importance of reading. And learning the lesson from older students was the good news of the day. Here's 21 Alive's Marty Wright. There's nothing more important in life than learning to read because it opens up the world to us. Well, today is Literacy Day, and some high school students took time away from their busy schedules to bring the message of good reading habits to other children. That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on a the ball. English students from Bishop Lures High School visited Precious Blood Elementary School today to spend time reading to children. If you encourage them to read, they're always going to do better and stuff. Not, that always makes you feel good if you can, like, help someone in their academic stuff. We commend these high schoolers for understanding the importance of reading and passing those skills along to the younger set. And finally tonight, it is a landmark day at the Uniroyal Goodrich Tire Plant. The 200 millionth tire was built at the Fort Wayne plant today. Ed Ambrosini, builder of the first tire produced at the facility, observed as the event occurred. The Fort Wayne plant will celebrate its 35th anniversary later this month. And that's your good news for Monday. 
In the Caribbean, trouble is brewing tonight. The name of that trouble is Hurricane Hortense. Conditions are already worsening on the island of St. Croix, where winds are tearing off makeshift roofs put up after Hurricane Bertha struck in July. Hurricane warnings are already up for Puerto Rico, and a hurricane watch has been issued for the Dominican Republic. The National Hurricane Center warns that the slow-moving system could eventually end up in the Gulf Stream waters. Looks like the air conditioner will be getting a rest this week. Brent Tranum joins us now from the Weather Center with a look at your overnight and morning forecast, Brent. And we're all going to get a rest from those very warm conditions. So far this month, our temperatures have uh, been above normal. We're about to go the other direction. Overnight, cooling off as we start to clear out, but we'll also see some fog develop. Could slow you down first thing in the morning for the return to work. Cool and clammy and cloudy as they'll hang tough those clouds, perhaps toward the noon hour, Keith and Melissa. Thanks, Brent. That wraps up your first seven minutes of news, but there's more on the way from the 21 Alive newsroom. A little later on, a Fort Wayne teacher received an honorary award that could change your life. Not knowing exactly what long distance carrier you want can be very expensive. I'm Jennifer Blomquist. I'll have that story coming up next in Troubleshooter. I'm Forrest Sawyer. Tonight on Nightline, tired of the attacks by Bob Dole, America's teachers unions say they are mad and mobilized and ready for war political power and education. The 96 vote on Nightline tonight. On the next coach. What would you say if I gave you the one thing that would make Kelly's party a guaranteed success? You can't come. Kelly's home with a new beau. He said he's perfectly normal. But it's a May-December romance. I went out with men who were a lot older than me. Does that bother you? No, because they're probably all dead by now. And it may take Hayden years to get over it. What's next? She gonna give out her number at bingo night at the nursing home? Coach. Monday night at 105 on 21 Alive. The best possible prices. I save about 30 to 40 dollars a week. It's so special about their needs. Oh, they're so fresh all the time and lean. This week in Scott's Butcher Shop, save on fresh grade-A boneless chicken breast or select whole boneless center-cut pork loin. Whichever you choose, a low $1.99 a pound. Excellent meat at a great price. Scott's, it's my store. Hey, did you ever wonder what it'd be like to be a VIP? Yeah, you get to crash the greatest Thanks, parties for the biggest stars. Arno, good to see you. David, how are you? Great, great. You'd hang with swinging celebrities. So, hard night. So, it's a jungle in there. You don't have to be a VIP to get inside. All you need is Access Hollywood. I'm Giselle Fernandez. Join me on the inside. Access Hollywood is coming this fall only on 21 Alive. The Great Fashion Mix is the theme for the 1996 Ebony Fashion Fair, Saturday, September 14th at 8 p.m. at the Grand Wayne Center. Enjoy an evening of exclusive fashions by fame designers Bill Blass, Oscar de la Renta, Christian Dior, Valentino, and more at the world's largest traveling fashion show. Win prizes, see exciting fashions, and support art scholarships for young people at The Great Fashion Mix, Saturday, September 14th. For tickets, call 447-3154. Sometimes what you don't know really can hurt you or cost you. Not knowing which long-distance telephone carrier you want may leave you with some big surprises. In tonight's Troubleshooter Report, 21 Alive's Jennifer Blomquist shows you how to protect yourself. You have an incredible number of choices when it comes to phone service, options like call waiting, caller ID, three-way calling, and of course your long-distance carrier. Well, someone came up with an idea to make a lot of money off long-distance customers. It's, it's rather ingenious, but at the same time, I think quite fraudulent. Tom Bartholomew's talking about phone slamming. That's when your long-distance carrier is switched without you knowing it. Now someone's come up with a creative way of getting you to involuntarily switch. An individual has set up five long-distance carrier companies called Bay TNT Network. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Whoever and anyone is okay. Anytime you take a survey for a long-distance phone company, you're asked which carrier you prefer. Well, suppose you answer, it doesn't matter. You just switched yourself over to that company, even though you probably had no intention of doing so. And notice how the first company listed sounds an awful lot like AT&T, but is actually Bay, B-A-Y, T-N-T. 
Also, the company's rates are usually twice as high as the others. This is, uh, no, this is definitely a new one uh, at the Better Business Bureau as far as uh, slamming. Never seen anything quite like this. Well, if you happen to get caught up in one of these companies, you as a consumer really have no recourse because this company is considered to be legitimate and it is legally licensed through the FCC. Mike Berry of GTE says so far no customer in Indiana, Illinois, or Wisconsin has been affected by these I don't know companies, but it could happen any time. Truly, if it was a GTE rep today and someone said that I don't care or I don't know, that's where they would be put because it is a legitimate existing long distance company. Barry says your best defense is knowledge. Don't order service blindly. We can't pick for you. And so if you're going in to do that and you're in that scenario, have the name of a company in mind that you want to be your company, whether it's GTE Long Distance or, or anybody else. Also remember to double check your phone bill every month to make sure the correct long distance carrier is listed. With tonight's Troubleshooter Report, I'm Jennifer Blomquist for 21 Alive News. Up next, Brent says you might want to begin pulling out the sweaters. In sports, Dean has football highlights on the high school coaches' football poll. Fort Wayne's Department of Animal Control needs more space and has asked for money from the city's budget. 21 Alive News returns after this. Well, today's the big day. I'm getting very excited. About what? Because starting today, Mad About You is on five days a week. Oh, that big day. I thought I would look taller. Premiering September 9th, late night, only on 21 Alive. Windows, windows, windows. Save, save, save. If you need replacement windows but didn't want to mortgage your house to buy them, call Advanced Window Wholesalers at 456-4600. Only $297 each, completely installed. Our windows are solid vinyl, have thermal double-pane glass, and even tilt-in sashes for easy in-home cleaning. Everything you need in a replacement window, including installation, for only $297. Don't wait another minute. Call Advanced Window Wholesalers today at 456-4600 and save. George Clooney puckers up. Princess Fran's palace. Hi. And the shocking Anna Nicole exclusive about her drug-induced coma. That was the coma. How long? 18 hours. On Entertainment Tonight. Monday night at 12.05 on 21 Alive. I'm Brent Tranum. Here are today's highs and lows and the record setters for this day. Stay tuned. Your forecast is coming up. On the next Home Improvement. Oh. God, even my butt looks good. It's Jill's big night, but Tim blows it way out of proportion. You blew up my driver's license picture? That's a surprise. And she's not amused. I'm deader than dead. Has Tim spoiled Jill's picture-perfect evening? How could you do that? Well, it was better looking than your passport photo. See what develops. Everybody's laughing at the picture. They didn't see that skaggy dress you have on. On the next Home Improvement. Tuesday at 6.30 on 21 Alive. Results for people. That drives Steve Goldsmith's relentless pursuit of better and more efficient community services. Only Goldsmith has insisted on competition for services, making governments smaller and cost less, saving taxpayers $230 million, creating a record 23,000 new jobs, and improving services, like 100 more police on the street and $270 million for better roads. Only Goldsmith will make state government work for us, too. Steve Goldsmith for governor. Six years ago, our daughter and their sister, Erin, suddenly died without warning. Erin's death left a tremendous void in our lives. As we walked this unthinkable journey, friends were there to help. One friend, so moved by our children's grief, brought the resources together to start Erin's House, a center for grieving children. Can you volunteer to help a child? Please call 423-2466 for details. The Wood Craftsman Store, where the professionals buy and the beginners learn on West Coliseum in Fort Wayne. We're going to see a change here in a day or two? That's right. Uh, probably about two days, it looks like. Right? Uh, really a big cool down. Usually this time of the year, we see the first major cool down. It looks like it's right on schedule. Tonight, slightly cooler air invading the area. So perhaps this evening, a little more conducive for those outdoor activities, like some volleyball action. The volleyball getting batted around at LJ's Volleyball. 
world, of course, this weekend. I guess it could have been mud volleyball out there with remnants of Hurricane Fran. Nothing like that in the short cast, as we'll find. It look a little threatening, especially first thing tomorrow, but some dry weather will pay us a visit throughout your Tuesday. 63 at 8 o'clock, 70 degrees, and finally a little bit of that sunshine peering through by the afternoon after some morning fog and a low deck of clouds that will form through the overnight. Right now, just a thin veil, some of a drier slot of air beginning to uh, encounter parts of north uh, central Indiana and back through much of Illinois into our northwest. Look for the clouds to pick up uh, once again as they have been throughout much of the day. Slow drying behind an area of low pressure that has been uh, scooting off to the uh, east pretty slowly. And then it also brought our latest round of scattered showers across the area. In fact, up to about a quarter of an inch officially at the airport. Right now, under mostly clear skies at 66 degrees. Our humidity at 90 percent. Fairly high dew points as well. That's what will help uh, form some of that fog. A light breeze now out of the north at 5. The rain, well, it's going to continue to make progress off to the east where it is very unwelcomed. Anywhere from the New England states to the middle Atlantic where they're still cleaning up and where the cleanup will continue for several months from Hurricane Fran and down to the lower Mississippi Valley. It's a soggy day on tap for tomorrow as well. Here is the setup on the, from the satellite perspective. From coast to coast, the clearing coming up across America's midsection where it's very quiet out to the west. The rainy, murky conditions across the eastern third of the nation and uh, most of that activity has been winding down throughout the evening hours. As we uh, check out tomorrow's forecast map and here is the sign of things to come. A frontal system is going to make uh, inroads to the south. It's dropping out of Canada and it will uh, bring sharply cooler air our way going into the middle part of the week and also uh, into Thursday and Friday. Look for our temperatures to barely reach above 70 degrees. A much cooler air mass as Canadian high pressure builds in behind that. In the meantime, some scattered showers are a possibility as the front draws near on Wednesday and also Thursday. A, uh, not a lot of moisture expected with this frontal system, certainly not like we saw this weekend. The most noticeable feature, the cooler air and the dry flow that we will uh, encounter for Thursday, Friday and also into the weekend. To give you an idea of this air mass that uh, is coming our way, it uh, could bring the first little batch of frost in the area, possible scattered frost late in the work week across parts of the northern tier. Sign of things to come pretty soon around here. 61 for the overnight low for tomorrow after some morning fog. Look for a bit of clearing. 78 our afternoon high. By the way, today, the first time we did not exceed the 80 degrees in almost a month. No 80s on the menu across the board here. We look for those 70s to continue paying us a visit until the end of the work week when we could stay in the 60s. It is much cooler going into Friday and also the weekend, a taste of fall. And that brings us to our weather work, Keith and Melissa. It is falling. The official start of fall, less than two weeks away. It's going to arrive a little bit early, I think. All right. That's okay. We, we're ready for it. We're ready for a change. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thanks. It's been a while. Okay, there is more on the way from the 21 Alive newsroom. But first, here's a look at tonight's winning lottery numbers in Indiana. The Daily 3, 4, 8, 7, and the Daily 4, 1, 3, 6, 8. The lucky five numbers are 18, 24, 26, 27, and 30. Is a new entertainment news show really news? Maybe. Well, is if it's entertaining. Yeah. If it brings you closer to the stars. Okay. If it improves your life just a little bit. Cool. And if it makes you a happier, smarter, more productive member of society. Wait a minute. Okay, so we exaggerate a little. But Access Hollywood will take you really inside the world of entertainment. Now that, I believe. I'm Giselle Fernandez. Join me on the inside. Access Hollywood is coming this fall only on 21 Alive. Hello, I'm PGA Tour Pro Tom Kite, and I'm here to tell you about a terrific opportunity for junior golfers across the country. The Chrysler Junior Golf Scholarship Program is offering 40 $1,000 educational scholarships to deserving young golfers ages 12 through 18. For more information or to request an application, contact Chrysler Junior Golf Scholarship Headquarters at 1-800-856-0764. A message from the American Junior Golf Association. The Fort Wayne Women's Bureau wants you to help celebrate the 16th birthday of Run Jane Run by participating in your choice of 15 fun-filled athletic events starting September 11th through the 22nd. The kickoff to this year's event includes a drumming ceremony in honor of Nancy Ree, one of Fort Wayne's most memorable athletes. Whether you're an accomplished competitor, an avid amateur, or trying to get in shape for the first time, you'll love this women's only competition. Run Jane Run, bring a friend and come join the fun. I'm Frank O'Bannon. 
And since I've been Lieutenant Governor with Evan By, we've worked hard to cut taxes, like the auto excise tax. We've balanced the budget and created a surplus, but there's still more we can do. As Governor, I'll cut taxes, a billion dollars, so hardworking families can keep more of what they earn. My plan will cut property taxes up to 12% for middle-income families, and it'll make sure we have the money we need to improve our schools. Frank O'Bannon, Governor. They're Fort Wayne's number one news morning team. Authorities in Wabash County say alcohol was a big factor in a deadly shooting spree along County Road 250 earlier this week. Three people. Each morning, Jennifer Blomquist and Victor Locke bring you overnight news, weather, traffic, and... Trans fatty acid. It sounds like something you get if you're an urban mass commuter. Yes, it, uh, <laughs> all right, that sounded like something in a car, but... Jennifer Blomquist and Victor Locke, weekday mornings from 5.30 to 7, only on WPTA-TV, 21 Alive. Get the forecast 24 hours a day at 424-1414. Fort Wayne's Department of Animal Control needs more space and has asked for money from the city's budget. But will they get it? Animal Control says the existing building is too small and outdated for all the animals housed there. And even though there is opposition from some city council members, Animal Control has asked the city for $3.5 million for a different building. We are crowded. We have stretched our resources as far as we can go, and we need to new, uh, find a new home. We cannot add any more structures to this building. We cannot add an addition because we are in a floodplain. There is a public hearing about the Animal Control Department's funding tomorrow night at 5.30 in the City County Building. A Fort Wayne Elementary School science teacher, Christine Danley, received an honorary award today that could change her life. She was awarded the Milken Foundation Educator Award, and with that achievement comes a $25,000 bonus. Danley has been teaching for 23 years, and school officials say she has a unique way of teaching science. So when these children are always involved with hands-on, exploration, learning kinds of activities, um, or well organized and well orchestrated by the teacher. Danley is one of four recipients to receive the Milken Award for the state of Indiana. She says that she's not sure what she'll do with the cash award, but it's possible that she will use it to take students on a field trip. Not bad. Not bad at all. Congratulations, by the way. Good for her. In sports, a hockey legend says he'll play at least one more year. You saw it here. Packer fans loved it. They rolled over Philly. Like a truck coming up with the highlights and the night in baseball. The playoffs getting closer. thinks it's still the 60s. She has a lot of rules that have nothing to do with my life. And she won't listen to me. When we're with his friends, Jack wants me to look and act a certain way. And if I don't, he gets angry. Or worse. Why do I feel ashamed? You can talk about what matters right here. Sally's listening weekday mornings at 9, only on WPTA-TV, 21 Alive. What's in a name? Attorneys whose only business has been helping injured people. What's in a name? Over 90 years of experience. What's in a name? Attorneys who spend their time researching the evidence and aren't afraid to fight for accident victims' rights in the courtroom. Sweeney. Sweeney. Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Anderson. Anderson. And Morgan. And Morgan. Attorneys for injured people. Are you looking for some fun? Got some extra time on your hands? Then why not put it to good use here at Science Central? Science Central is looking for sharp minds and smiling faces to volunteer in many different areas. After a four-hour training session, all we ask is that you work at least 36 hours per year. In return, you'll see the joy of thousands of faces as they get excited about science. Call Science Central at 424-2400, extension 411, and volunteer today. I love my cars, keeping everything inside running just right. But what about the outside? You got to keep it right, too. How? Easy. You know, the, uh-oh, better get Mako, guys. Mako, always a great value. Right now, you can have it all with our Smart Pack. Start right with our Value Prep Pack, a great presidential finish, and get our ultraviolet sunscreen all for one low price. Now, only $349. You want it done right? Call Mako, America's smart choice. 21 Alive and Kelch Pharmacies are pleased to bring you this community calendar of special events. Come to the Great Outdoor Art Contest at the T.C. Steel Historic Site on September 14th to create artwork from existing mediums. 
Don't miss the last truck pull of the season for points September 14th at the Limberlost Pulling Track. Small acreage landowners can enhance the environment. Come to the field day on September 14th in Layado. Call 636-7682 for more information. Need a job? Watch Help Wanted weekday mornings from 5.30 to 7 only on 21 Alive. Dan Zim with some baseball? Well, we always saw the football. We'll get to sure, that we'll later, to so that. let's move to some other things. There's been no hotter team in the last week in the American League than the Baltimore Orioles, and they can climb even closer to the Yankees in the American League East race with another win over the Tigers. Tigers make it hard on the birds. Curtis Pride puts Scott Erickson's second pitch of the game into the left field stance. Pete Incavillia loses his glove going after it. Fans give it back. Mighty nice of them. And the Tigers get four in the first to take the lead. But the birds fly back in. Todd Zeal, who'd made an error in that four-run Tiger first, lights the candles on his 31st birthday kick with a three-run homer in the third. That'll push Baltimore back into it. And then in the sixth, they will get the lead. Cal Ripken Jr. ripping it fair past third. Here's the smash. It's fair. Rafael Palmeira will come home with a tying run. The Orioles will load the bases. And Chris Hoyles will lift a fly to left. Now Pride will grab this, make a nice play on it, and trying to get Bobby Bonilla at home. Watch the throw. This is probably going to end up in Chesapeake Bay. 5-4 Baltimore. That's the final tonight. The other games, and there weren't that many in the American League. California beaten by Cleveland. Milwaukee shuts out Boston and Texas over Toronto. Cubs trying to stay alive in the National League wild card. They have Montreal tonight. Fielding both good and bad in this one. First inning, Luis Gonzalez hits the fly to left. David Segui goes back, and he just flat out plain drops it. Brian McRae scores the first run of the game. Only run of the game for a while because of the good D, like Mark Race taking a double away here from Henry Rodriguez with a great play and a flip to Kevin Foster. And then Rondell White taking a base hit away from Gonzalez with a great diving catch, which you can see with the slow-mo. He really did catch off the top of the grass. one nothing Cub lead into the eighth when Ryan Sandberg will belt it deep to center. This is a catchable ball for White, which must be bad. The toughest one he can't get, the good one, easy ones, eh, can't get that one. Two big runs score for the Cubs. We need them all to grab a 3-1 win tonight. The Mets over Florida in other games. Colorado knocks off Houston. It was the Dodgers at last report leading the Reds. San Diego trailing Pittsburgh. St. Louis on top of San Francisco. And in the Midwest League Finals, West Michigan over Wisconsin, 3-0. They have to grab a 1-0 lead in the best of five final series. The Packers and Eagles on Monday Night Football tonight. Someone's 2-0 and the others 1-1 and when they're finished tonight. If you watch, you know who's who. If it was a fight, the Packers have an early TKO. Ricky Waters back in his fumbling ways of his 49er days. Pack up 3-0. They will take advantage. Brett Favre, another big game these days. That's all he does. To favor a target, Robert Brooks, 25 yards, 10-0. And Brooks is headed to the stands to party with the Cheeseheads. Dorsey Levins will make it 20-0 in the second after Favre moves the pack in again. Packers doing it all right, Eagles doing it all wrong, but the Eagles do do one thing right. Rodney Pete over the middle to Chris T. Jones, who uses his head, flips it to Irving Fryer before he goes down. Fryer takes it down to the two where Waters goes in on the next play. 23-7 Green Bay, still a ball game, but the Pack not done in the first half. Favre to Brooks to make it 30-7 at the half, and it's a blowout at Lambeau. Packers making a statement as the best in the NFC with a 39-13 win. The Colts begin to prep for Dallas tomorrow with several guys either out or maybe out with injuries. Cornerback Derek Frazier out for sure with a broken arm. Running back Marshall Falk, linebacker Tony Bennett nursing sprains in the knee that could keep both of them out of the game. The AP High School's football poll comes out tomorrow. The coaches polls out tonight. Penn's first and Snyder third in 5A. Homestead the only other school mentioned in the area from 5A. 4A, Wayne and DeKalb 1-2, the only area teams on that list. Jasper tops 3A, Harding's tied for fourth, Dwenger's seventh, some votes for Lakeland, North Montgomery leads 2A, Southwood's fourth, Fairfield's tenth, Heritage gets some votes, and Carroll of Carroll County counting in number 1A, Southern Wells in the mentioned section. More player signings expected from the Comets on Tuesday as training camp is just a week away with one of the expected signees thought to be veteran defenseman and local fan favorite Kevin McDonald. And former Comet Mitch Messier now out of the hospital in Canada and recuperating from his injuries from that pickup truck crash of a few weeks ago. After keeping his decision off to the last minute, Mario Lemieux announced today he will fulfill the final year of his contract and return to the Pittsburgh Penguins, for whom he scored 69 goals and 92 assists last year. He has some special motivation. It took uh, all summer to decide uh, uh, what to do, and, and uh, I knew a couple of weeks ago that uh, I wanted to come back and, and try to win the Cup again. That's, that's my only uh, goal this year is try to come back, and, and uh, with the changes that we've made over the summer, I think we're uh, going in the right direction, and 
hopefully we can uh, give it another shot. LMU also said this likely will be his last season. Pacer center Rick Smith had both of his feet operated on today to relieve compression of nerves in each foot. The 7-4 Dutchman begins rehab in 10 days. He'll be ready to go in six weeks, which means he will miss training camp. Norwell goes to New Haven for boys soccer tonight, and for the Bulldogs, the man of the night, Joel Reed. Even though he's only there for the finish and a great setup here from Scott Stouffer, Reed was the man, though, with three goals tonight for the Bulldogs. Norwell got some offense as well. They'll get on a break here. Eric Harshman gets to the left foot, and he will boot it in, but led by the three goals from Reed, New Haven goes on to the 5-2 win over Norwell. Volleyball tonight, Concordia wins two over Blackhawk in a row, and the stumper tonight is about NFL football. What team has been out of the NFL playoffs the longest? The longest dry spell for a team in the NFL not to be in the playoffs. Stay in a bit. All right. Thanks a lot, Dean. On Wall Street, the Dow finished the day up. The industrials gained over 73 points. Trading was active as 313 million shares changed hands. Local stocks at the close. General Electric up one. GTE up three quarters. General Motors up five eighths. Lincoln National up three quarters. And Super Value up an eighth. the city of Auburn and the fun we had at this year's Auburn Core Duesenberg Festival. People are coming into shop, basically. They come in to look at cars. Dad looking for a car for his son about to go to college. Mom needing that second car. I mean, with times like this, somebody's got to help. That's what we're here for. At EC Car Credit, we're not a bank. We look at people as individual people. We understand that they want to reestablish credit, um, that they may have had problems in the past, but to us, that's not a problem. It really is easy at Easy Car Credit. We wouldn't call it easy if it weren't. This year, Student Focus on Health celebrates its 15th anniversary. I'm 21 Alive's Curtis Smith. It's important for you young people to make your health a personal responsibility because the choices you make today will affect you in the future. That's why Midwest Medical Research Foundation, PHP, the Time Corners Lions Club, and 21 Alive are proud to sponsor Student Focus on Health. We care about the health of our future leaders and encourage students at St. Jude Catholic School to participate September 11th. Our children are back in school. We all need to be reminded to drive carefully and to watch out for our children. Pay extra attention in and around school zones. Always obey school crossing guards. They deserve our respect for helping protect the lives of our children. Let's always put our children's safety first. Blackburn and Green, attorneys for injured people. Attention all betting buyers, Mattress Warehouse has a new location on Illinois Road and to celebrate they're having a grand opening sale at all three stores. There are several long distance phone companies vying for your business. Some companies have chosen unscrupulous ways of getting you to try their service. It's called phone slamming. And that's when a company changes your long distance service without you knowing it. I'm Victor Lockett on Tuesday's Live Line at noon. Tom Bartholomew of the Better Business Bureau joins us to tell you what to do to make sure this doesn't happen to you. Consumer Reports also looks into beepers and their service tells you how to get an affordable one. It's all coming up at noon on 21 Alive. Join us then. Need to know where to go when you're eating out? Sandy will tell you Tuesdays at 5 on 21 Alive. What's a good word for tonight? It is falling. Some cooler air coming down the pike. It's a retro return to the 70s tomorrow up to 78 with mostly cloudy skies, Dean. And falling since 1982, the Arizona Cardinals out of the NFL playoffs since then. And finally tonight, you've heard of seeing eye dogs, but in New York City, they've come up with a whole new twist on the idea. New York City police have a new piece of crime fighting equipment. It's a camera that attaches to the collar of a police dog. The dog is then sent into a potentially dangerous situation and the camera sends back pictures of the scene, such as the inside of a building. I guess it's only a matter of time before they have seeing eye cats as well. They're There's sneakier. Yeah. They're most, sneakier. Most of what you saw was the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty dangerous. 
That's the very latest from the 21 Alive newsroom. The news team is back at 5.30 for the latest in your morning traffic, weather, news, nightline is next. More people get their news from 21 Alive News than from any other local news source.